Welcome to Newsmakers. My name is Sean Smith. I'm the Assistant Director of Community Relations for Cheshire County Public Schools. Join us today, Malcolm Stewart. Welcome to you, Malcolm. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you with us. Uh, for our viewers out there, you're a senior at Melithian High School. Um, and we want to talk a little bit today about a, a topic we talked about previously on, on Newsmaker segments with the superintendent. But you're part of the superintendent's student advisory committee. I think also people know, know it as SAGE. But tell us about that committee, if you would. Well, the SAGE group is actually just a tiny little group of about 24 students who are handpicked from each of their respective high schools by their principals, students, and uh, teachers who all basically evaluate their leadership capabilities and different aspects based on merit and their character to decide who really just has the best field to represent their school and Chesterfield County with Dr. Newsom for a monthly meeting each month. And with that, obviously, uh, there's a lot of work that goes into, I know from a staff level, but there's a lot of great input. I know that we hear Dr. Newsom come back to staff and say, I had this idea. I heard it from some of the students in my advisory group. But when you think about the group itself, what kind of opportunities is it open for you as a student? Well, definitely, like you said, the biggest opportunity is just having that chance to meet with these public officials like Dr. Newsom and different officials from throughout the county. We had one from the governor's office come last year and just hearing them say things like they haven't thought in a way that we have before or that we've contributed to their thought processes really tells you that you have an impact and we're able to influence the way that the public policies are going so that we feel we do have an uh, effect on the way that we are able to endure schools. And obviously it's, it's a unique perspective to, to be a student and be part of this group and, and it's difficult to, to be one of the, the few members part of that and obviously to get into that you have leadership capabilities, but I, I'm guessing it's also helped you expand some of those leadership capabilities. What are some of the things that you've been able to do with this? Well, definitely the biggest opportunity that I've had to expand my leadership capabilities has just been giving an opportunity to use the leadership skills I've developed over the years. It's not every day that we get to go somewhere where you're just in a group with a lot of other leaders from different schools who have the same ultimate goal as you to just improve the Chesterfield County education system. And so when we all meet each month, we just talk about things that are going on in our schools and we're able to really come to solutions that help Dr. Newsom, as well as the other teachers and facilitators who are there to understand what it is that the school system needs to do to better the education system for each of us. And the school system says often that, you know, cornerstone obviously is community involvement, community engagement, and that's a key piece of what you're doing. Talk about that as far as community perspective and how they're, they're involved. Uh, well, basically, we a couple things that we have tried to organize this year is we want to really work with our different school leaders and their sponsors to try and make the impact not so much just the policy that goes into schools, but also the impact that these students have in the schools and outside. So it's not so much just focusing on the curriculum that we're learning in schools, but getting students to get more out of the classroom, do some community service and different involvement throughout their community that shows that we're not just students studying in books. We like to get out and help out and give back to the community. You mentioned earlier having the chance to interact with elected officials, someone from the governor's office. Are there one or two sessions that really stand out to you from an influential perspective or things that you, you're taking away from already? Uh, definitely each year at the end, we have a panel of about five of the different public officials from the area come and meet and they all bring their different topics that they would like to talk about and we all provide feedback for them. And definitely the biggest influence from that was having the opportunity to hear why it is that certain regulations we have are in place and how these certain rules go to impact our daily school lives. And when we hear it from them, you definitely understand it much more than when you're just being told in classroom. And so it's definitely helped you to understand how the public policy system works and hopefully inspires a few students to pursue that career. Well, thanks so much for being here. Congratulations already and wish you best of luck for the rest of the school year. Thank you for having me. And thanks to our viewers. Please join us next time. We're about Chester County Public Schools.